Okay, the Mexicans. Just gonna break it down for you. Mexicans, especially here in California. So, uh, Mexicans, the original inhabitants of this area. Okay, got that. We came in, took over, we meaning Europeans, spreading over here with our idea of a country and government and an idea for uh, sort of bringing an order to things and having a society and a nice, uh, well-mannered culture after thousands of years of of uh, experimenting with governments and stuff. Uh, the Europeans brought with them their idea of a ultra-refined form of society on this land uh, that has been untouched by anything else, uh, by war or anything. So uh, that's what the uh, United States and has spread all across and conquered and you know all that stuff has happened and here we are now. Well, the, you know, the Mexicans have the same struggle that you know goes on with the Jews and the Arabs here. I mean, this is this is the land they're originally from, and and uh, you know the Europeans came here and took it. And Azatlan, this is La Raza, and here's Azatlan, and it's happening. And what we and, and nobody can you can't defend it now. It's it's weird how you can't defend it, and uh, but it's totally embraced. Uh, everyone's complaining about all this happening, but. Uh, I work at all these, I work at different properties all over the Southern California area. And uh, I, I see on these multi-million dollar mansions, there is nothing but Mexicans that just live there on the property with their, with their families. They live, they, these rich people will take care of a family of Mexicans, illegal Mexicans, and, uh, and they just get to live in this nice posh little lifestyle. And then as soon as they uh, become citizens or get, or not citizens, or just get a green card and status, they'll turn around and stab you right in the back. They'll claim all these hours that they've worked and that they were never uh, compensated any overtime or anything like that. After these people have taken care of them and everything, they'll sit there and they'll, they'll cry about all that. So... <clears throat> That's what's going on, and then they're just taking over. I've seen several examples of that go on with the, with a lot of community markets and things like that. Uh, I, I've seen it happening, and it's it's just uh, it's I mean, it's hard to argue with them, and you know, from their point of view, you know, I mean, and they come in here and they're very family oriented, as European Americans are pretty fragmented, and they don't seem to band together. Uh, the only sort of social thing that the uh, European Americans kind of ever are able to get together to do is something with church, and even even that is sort of fun socially, or, 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 or like shunned. Sorry, um, where whenever any type of Christians try to do something, it's crazy and weird. But uh, at the same time, Muslims are completely protected and everything. Here in the U.S., but the, like you can't have a cross up on a military base because of this it might offend a Muslim. You know, give me a break. So anyway, I don't want to get off the tangent. Get back to the Mexicans here, and uh, so that's that's basically what's happening. And and they're just they, they're just coming back. This is their land. They're coming back here and uh, and taking over and um, just through pure numbers breeding. You know, and, and having everything handed to them. Go there and, and people just hand you stuff. Stand on the corner and sell. You know, just people will just give you money and, and the government will just pay for your health care and go there. Go to there. It, you know, the, the United States used to be a place you would come to for an opportunity to uh, make something of yourself. Be a business owner, some kind of thing like that. But uh, now, especially in California, it's come to it because you can get so much for free and bring your whole family. They won't kick you out. There are commercials and things like that on Mexican TV that tell people how you can just come here and do all this stuff for free and don't worry about it. It's crazy. So, so that's, that's all that's going on. I mean, there's, there's no hope for it other than, other than it would just be an outright battle again. 
um, like it was once before to take over this land. But California is pretty much gone to the Mexicans, I would say. They're, they're infiltrated through the government, uh, uh, through all levels of government, in the police force, all of that. Uh, all levels of it. It's, it's all Mexicans, especially in California. And uh, all you have to do is look at, look at these people, these cities where these people are in charge, like the city of Bell, what's going on, it's all Mexicans. And just look at any Latin American country, or, you know, just look at Mexico. That's all you got to do through all levels. It's corrupt. And, you know, you, you look at any type of government like that, it's just corrupt. And then you, you're trying to do that here now. I mean, how come, how come every area that uh, Mexicans come into in California, that area goes down and crime goes up and nobody wants to be there and it's dangerous to walk around. But then you get an Asian area that come in, like uh, maybe say, say the Vietnamese community down in Orange County there, uh, Little Saigon. Um, that in, in the last 25, 30 years, those people have come in there and took over that community and made it a thriving, nice business place you know a nice place you can walk around at night look at any of these uh you know show me a nice mexican neighborhood you, that, that a white person will feel uh safe walking around at night or or, or any other person or even even a latin a mexican person for that matter to feel safe walking around all these areas uh, it's the same as black areas show show me a a safe black neighborhood to walk through at night you know i mean it's not what comes to mind when you think of a, a black neighborhood. Like when anyone says, oh, I'm, um, I'm in any town USA and I'm on Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard, uh, everybody goes, oh, oh, you're in a bad part of town. Well, it's the same thing with Cesar Chavez Boulevard now. Anytime you get to a Cesar Chavez Boulevard, it's like, oh, oh, you better get out of there before the sun sets. So, uh, so yeah, so that's it. So... You just got California, goodbye, and we've done it to ourselves, and all these gardeners and stuff you hire to come in and take care of your your lawn and they and they, and to build your house and to fix this, and then they come right back and of course they're breaking into everybody's houses and doing everything like that and why because they they do everything they build everything we're bringing them right into our lives. You see a Mexican guy walking around in the neighborhood with with a crowbar on his side you don't think anything of it you think he's just working on someone's house, but no he's going up and trying to pry your front door open while you're not home so uh yeah it's just it's turning into uh it's turning into freaking just like in any other Mexican city now. You know, wherever you see a lot of Mexicans hanging out, you just know you, you can't have any nice stuff around because they're going to come and try and take it and put it in their pockets like it's theirs and go home with it. And, and you'll never see it again. Goodbye. Welcome to having Mexicans.